hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Hey folks, Beth from My Half Acre Homestead here. Um, I went out to the garden this morning and I picked a whack of big, nice, big pickling cucumbers. I mean, these are a decent size and I have lots, lots more to make pickles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate up all these lovely cucumbers and then I'm going to uh, add some pickling salt to drain most of the water out. Okay, now that I've grated up all that cucumber, I'm going to say I got about six, uh, maybe seven cups here. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle uh, about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of coarse pickling salt right on here and then I'm going to stir that in and what this does is this pulls all the water out of the cucumber so you don't have watery relish. I forgot to tell you we're gonna have to dice up one good size onion and one red pepper. There, that's better. Now I have my medium size to large onion and red pepper diced in here. And I've put another half a handful of salt on here and I'm gonna cover this with cold water and let it stand and then I'm going to drain it. In my pot here, I have uh, two cups of, excuse my hands, or my shakiness here because I'm doing this one handed. I have two cups of packed brown sugar and I'm going to add one teaspoon of celery seed, one heaping teaspoon, and one heaping teaspoon of mustard seed, and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now, normally, I would use cider vinegar, but I don't have any cider vinegar, and I'm hoping to make my own this fall, so next year will be another story. But I'm going to add one cup of vinegar and bring this to a boil. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to add the white vinegar. And then I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Okay, as you can see, my vinegar, brown sugar, and spices is up to a nice boil. And my cucumbers have drained. Well, my cucumbers and veggies have drained. And I'm just going to stir. Oops, sorry for the steam, folks. I am just going to stir those right in and bring them back up to a nice simmer. We're gonna cook these a little bit and when they are ready to go in the jars, we'll be back. Okay, folks, this has been simmering for a bit. My lids have boiled for, t for uh, 10 minutes and my jars have been in the oven for 15. My boiling bath canner is ready. I always add a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of vinegar to the water in the boiling bath canner and in the lids to stop cloudiness on the jars if you have a lot of minerals in your water. So anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and start bottling our relish. I have um, three pint, half pint jars and two pint jars. I don't know how much relish I actually have here, but uh, I've got six jars or five jars just in case. Ow, that's hot. And we're just gonna go ahead and start bottling this up. And it the same the same applies. Uh, you give it a, a almost an inch head space to the top. You take a handy dandy lid. Now your jars have been washed, rinsed, and sterilized in the oven at 215 degrees for at least 15 minutes. And we're gonna pop that lid down and we're gonna pop this into the boiling bath canner. And I really wish, now I know why this woman sold me this. And I will be back when I have finished filling the jars. Never ever ever forget folks, that always wipe the rims of your jars if you have any kind of spillage or any kind of um, anything else has touched the rim of the jar other than what is supposed to be there, which is the funnel. Okay, folks, I have two pints and two half pints in my boiling bath canner, and I don't know if you can see that, but they're covered with water completely. This rack that came with this is a piece of crap. These things do not stay on the sides of the pot. So either my husband's going to bend them or I am going to put rubber bands there, but for now I have a tried and true method and you can't see it, but I have my cake rack, wire rack in the bottom of this pot. 
Now I'm going to bring this up to a boil and I'm going to process these for 10 minutes. Alrighty folks, these have been processed in the boiling bath canner for over 10 minutes. Um, I pack the relish hot into hot jars. And when these pop down, make sure these are all popped down, and when they pop down, it's ready. We don't eat a lot of relish because we don't eat a lot of hot dogs and hamburgers. But I tell you, when you want to have a tuna sandwich, you mix a teaspoon of that into a tablespoon of mayonnaise and put that in your tuna sandwich. Whew, better than tartar sauce. Have a great day.